Today we're going to go over some safety tips with a fertilizer and lime buggy. Um, this unit here is a PTO over a hydraulic unit and we're going to go over a couple safety tips and how to show you how this thing operates. First of all, when securing the, the unit to the tractor, make sure you have a heavy enough pin and it's placed through and you have your safety pin in the bottom of the clevis. Um, when hooking up your PTO shaft, there's a little push button that comes through. Um, you slide that through on the shaft and that'll pop out. That'll show that you're securely properly hooked to the machine. Um, also make sure your safety chains are hooked up to the tractor. Um, these are your safety chains here. Um, sometimes the pins will break, sometimes the pins will come loose and uh, this will secure the machine from getting away from you out in the field. Um, make sure that your jack stand is up. And in this buggy here, it has a hydraulic driven wheel. Um, if we move back here to the back of the machine, this particular machine here has a safety device uh, when it's in transit so the wheel can't fall down on the tire and engage the chain when you're transporting it down the road. So as you see here, you see the safety device removed before using. That's just typically this pin right here. It's hooked in with a bungee cord. Unhook the bungee cord. Move your safety device out of the way. That way the hydraulic jack can work. There's a little pin here. You secure that in to keep that from coming back up. Once that's in place, you're uh, ready to set your machine up for its density levels and your spread pattern. On the back of the machine, you'll find several charts. Um, first off here, you need to know the density of the material that you're going to be spreading. Um, and once you determine what your density is, you can look at your different charts here based on your application rate. There's one spreading at 30 foot intervals and another one spreading at 50 foot intervals. To set that up, you first need to determine if you're on high or low range. The smaller sprocket and the bigger sprocket, which is 11 tooth sprocket and a 40 tooth sprocket would be your load range circuit. The other circuit um, is simply moved. Uh, you need a wrench to move this guide, slide it up, move the chain over to high range if you're using that application. Make sure you securely tighten your belt tent or your chain tensioner up. Once you determine that, you can come over here and look at your spread pattern. Um, there's a spread pattern down here on the bottom and it sets your depth and there's a little gauge right here on the side of the machine that tells you three inches, two inches, four inches, whatever you need to be set at. That's just moved by this wheel right here. That opens up your trough space back here in the back. So you read, say your density of the material is at 70 and you want to spread about 500 pounds per acre. So you find where 500 pounds would come down here on the chart and it's saying that you need to open your gate to three and a half inches. That's simply achieved by moving this wheel and moving your gate up and down. There's a dial to tell you exactly where you're at. And once you get that set, you just lock it in place and then you're ready for spreading. The gauge for your dial here on your uh, door opening is right here. It's very hard to see. It's inscribed in the aluminum, but one inch, two inch, three inch, and so forth. And there's your little pin showing your depth. Once that's all done, you're ready to engage the machine and start spreading material. Now that the gates are set and you're set up for your spread pattern, we're going to engage the ground driven wheel by the tractor up to the front of the machine. This machine basically just is spinning on top of the tire here and that conveys your belt line to disperse your material. As you can see, we are now engaged and ready to start spreading. The next step would be turning the PTO on. When you're engaging the PTO on a tractor, we highly suggest that uh, a low RPM rate and then set your PTO spread pattern as you're going out through the field. After you're done spreading um, and you're getting ready to return the buggy and getting it on the road, please reattach the safety device so this wheel cannot come down and uh, engage while it's going down the road.
Thanks for using us here at Belmont Mills. We hope you have a great day.